Our next screen or option that we're going to discuss in this training session is filters. So if I click on my filter button, we will allow you to set up or create a filter with various questions. In other words, here you've got a query on this information you see in front of you. You can say, I want to see only selected information. For instance, I only want to see all the debtors of the bargain store. So I can specify that I would le like to select the account field and I can say I would like it, the, the operator must be like and there I'm going to type in TBS but I don't want to see a specific account TBS001 I would like to see all the accounts that starts with a TBS then I can use the wildcard the wildcard in this case is the percentage sign I must use like and the wildcard together I can't say equal once I've created my filter, I can click on Apply. And now it will only display the information that I've required. If I click on Filter again, I can now save this information. And I can close my filter. Now at the top here, you will see the filter that you've added. All your filters that you've already created will be displayed at the top here. In other words, here's a filter that I've created that will show everyone that's got a terms equal to 2. Okay, so what is a filter? A filter will allow the user to extract information out of the database. What is important with a filter is that you know what is the field name and what is within that field that you need to specify. And that concludes filters.